Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful wedding day that you have made special for Caleb and Marlies. I also thank you for all of the family and friends who have come to celebrate with them. Today is the day that you have made for Caleb and Marlies to be joined as one in holy matrimony, and we rejoice with them on their special day. Lord, we ask that you bless this wonderful time together in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. And so I remember the day when it was finally time for Caleb to ask Marlies out. He comes to me and he's like, bro, it's time. And I was like, all right. And he's like, how do you think I should do it? I'm like, well, dude, I got a great idea. Here's what you can do. You can, you can write her a poem. Girls love poems. They, they love it. And he's like, okay. I was like, man, do something cheesy. Like, roses are red, violets are blue. I like you and something, something. And he's like, dude, that's lame. I was like, dude. I was like, whatever. So anyway, he didn't tell me how he asked her out. I see Marlies at, at the college ministry. We're at, I'm like, Marlies, he asked you out. And she's like, yeah, it's exciting. I was like, how do you do it? She's like, he wrote me a poem. I was like, <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I'm so thankful you came into Marlise's life from the moment she called me to tell you about you, tell me about you, unsure if she should take that step past friendship, scared and uncertain from past hurts. You calmed those fears and daily showed her what an honorable man looks like. You're such an example of God's faithfulness and love. The way she talks about you makes my best friend heart explode. <laughs> you treat her with the utmost respect. You challenge her and you cherish her like the precious gift she is. The world is a better place with the two of you individually, but the two of you as one is an unstoppable force. I know God has incredible plans for you both as husband and wife, and I can't wait to see what's in store. I love you both. Cheers. To my wife, Marlise, from your husband, Caleb. Caleb, there will never be a time that I will stop loving you. Becoming your wife is the greatest thing I will ever do. Thank you for choosing me today and forever. I love you endlessly and I can't wait to see you down the aisle. Love your almost wife, Marlise. My dearest Marlise, our day has finally arrived. I cannot describe the peace and joy I woke up with today. <laughs> Knowing the next morning I rise from sleep, I will be next to you. You are more beautiful and lovely than any gift I should ever hope to receive or be worthy of. So wonderful you are. I only hope to give you a fraction of what you deserve in a husband. I may not have tons of money or expensive things to offer you, but the love I have for you will always be more real than any words on this page. Oh my gosh, this is hard. for the union that is happening tonight. So God, we just ask that you bless them. We ask that you just fill them up, God, and that, that at, the, at the end of the day, they just look at each other and say, this was the best day ever.
Come on. Caleb and Marlies. We are here after months of planning and praying and pre-marriage counseling and we finally made it to this moment and I'm so grateful to be able to be here with you. All right, so Caleb, do you take this woman, Marlies, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together from this point on in a holy covenant relationship with one another? I do. All right, so Marlies, do you take this man, Caleb, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together from this point on in a holy covenant relationship with one another? I do. I vow to love you as Christ has first loved us, unconditionally and selflessly in good times and also difficult times. To laugh with you when we are happy, comfort you when you're sad, and care for you when you're sick. As your wife, I vow to put Christ in the center of our marriage and to seek his guidance and wisdom in everything that we do. I will serve him, praise him, honor him, and thank him with you and for you daily. I promise to freely give my whole heart to you stand beside you through every season, and spend the rest of our days learning new ways to love and serve you as my husband. So, by the authority vested in me as a licensed minister, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Caleb, you may now kiss your lovely bride. Two.